Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, CCBPL. Oh, man, I botched my uh, library acronym. Um, <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Paul Addis. I'm a librarian at the Coos Bay Public Library. Tonight uh, with us, we have Tim Bolster from the Coos Head Food Co-op, their outreach coordinator. Um, we have Alan Bartle, our video cameraman behind the camera. And tonight we have a special chef for you, Linda Laverty. Hey, Alan, <laughs> there's a <your> cameraman. <laughs> um, and tonight it's pretty cool. It's pretty special to me because Linda's been attending, um, our chef tonight, Linda has been attending community cooking for quite some time. And it's always been a lot of fun to see her on the other side because she's a very <laughs> colorful person. Her kitchen's always lively and colorful. So I'm just excited to um, see uh, Linda on the other side, so to speak. Um, with and uh, I'm the teacher. <laughs> yes, and, and I am recording this. Um, we'd love to see your videos on, but I understand if you don't want to be on the library's YouTube channel. But if you don't mind, go ahead and turn it on because the way we record takes off the names at least. Um, it's all yours, guys. Cool. Yeah, okay. Well, let's get started with the roasted vegetables. Get them in the oven while we make the hop and john salad. The vegetables will be roasting so they can come together at the same time so let's okay. go let me jump in really quick linda i forgot if you're cooking along make sure to start heat preheating your ovens at 375. okay what do we need here well we're gonna peel the the, uh, the beets, beets. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. a big one and and uh, these are washed so you don't need to peel these okay. but we'll just start cutting them off. okay i know with beets it's always like when it's when it's called for one beet some beets are so small and some beets are so big. I never quite know how to pick. I got you never one. have enough beets. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about how we grew to love beets. I yes. mean, maybe you've always loved beets, but beets are something I grew to love. Another one is eggplant. That's something I grew oh, to yeah. love. I love eggplant. Oh, you're starting with the, oh, I'm already cutting my beet. Okay, so you're getting the potato going. We're chopping the potato. Yeah, you just. And should I peel this? Yeah, beet? peel, peel okay. the beet. We'll get these chopped. And, you know, make them kind of, you know, uh, a bite-sized piece so they, they, size they, do, piece, yeah. they do cook nicely. And if if folks have questions, uh, feel free to um, unmute and ask or put them in chat and I'll tell Linda. So the best thing to do when you do cut these things is try to get them in half and then lay the piece of food down on the flat side. And so you don't cut yourself. Okay, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Be very careful with these tools because they're very sharp. Yes. Wow. Mika. Mika. My, yeah, I, <laughs> I so enjoy seeing Mika because it's. I wish more kids would get on this program. The children really would love to learn how to cook their own food and eat well. It's inspiring, yes. He's a really darling, darling boy. I'm always happy when he's on that. Let me just kind of- Okay, so potato. We're bringing the baking tray over. We've got our baking tray lined with- a sheet. Parchment paper. Just makes it easier for yes. us, really. It makes the cleanup a little easier. And you know- Not you, necessary, you I'm sure. You can mix the vegetables up, or you can just place them in you, however you like it, you know, to do you, yeah. as they say. Yeah, just kind of make it your own. And Linda, I'm assuming if people don't have parchment paper, they can just put it right on the pan. Right. And just put a little olive oil on the pan so that, you know, it's easier to clean up. And cool. Thank you. Stick into that. Okay. But otherwise, we're not putting any olive oil on the potatoes. Or yeah, we're like putting that. olive oil on everything. Oh, we will. Okay. Yeah. Put everything. Yeah. On everything. And but first, we're just getting it on the pan. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Get everything you like on the pan. You don't have to put um, what is on the recipe on the pan if you don't like it. Put what you like on the pan. Yeah, you mentioned like any root vegetables. Any root like, vegetable right? you do good. Cool. So, so what else might you include if you were thinking of other things to put on this pan? Um, well, carrots? I, I, well, we're getting carrots. We're getting onion. We're getting – I brought some – um, a parsnip, you got a parsnip. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I brought a small, um, uh, what do they call those? Uh, turnip? 
turnip, a turnip yeah. anything that you enjoy eating as a root vegetable can be thrown in mm -hmm. huh? yeah no rules just happy no rules, just um, happy. if you um eat all the colors of the rainbow and this is why nature made vegetables very colorful because if you eat the rainbow you'll get your full thing of nutrition yeah all the vegetables have different nutritional values and so you want to make your roasted vegetables pretty i like everything pretty <laughs> like pretty I, and colorful. i'd heard that a lot and so i always knew i was making i always feel guilty if i look down at my plate and i I just saw like one color. <laughs> no. Like for example, I'm German and like Polish. And so I can say this, but like I used to look down at a plate of like German or Polish food and we, we used to call it beige food. It would be like pork and like dumplings and like cabbage. And it was just sauerkraut. Like, oh, yeah. Sauerkraut. It was like all one color. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> It kind of blends it together, doesn't it? It comes with the regions Delicious. of the world, too, because some of the parts of the world don't have the ability to grow As a, 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 a lot of variety. So they right. kind of have to eat what the, the region can feed them. Yeah. And so the northern part of Europe is a lot of, you know, kielbasa and pierogi and potatoes. And potatoes yeah. And yeah, you have a question, Micah? Go ahead and unmute. Um, uh, so in the recipe, it called for one onion and then half an onion. Uh, for this one, is this the half an onion we're dropping out? What is this? So in the recipe, it calls for one onion and it calls for half an onion. Right uh, now, are we going to work with the whole onion for the roasted vegetables? Yeah. Or half um, but it depends on how big the onion is and how much you want to make. Um, like this onion here that he's got for me, mm -hmm. I would, uh, you know, put half of this in. And Let me ask this too. It calls for a sweet onion and a purple one. Yeah. If, would you prefer which one? Go, are they both going to go on? They're both going in. Oh, okay. Well, only cool. the purple's going in the hop and jam. Okay. But that's coming in here too. Okay. So, so right now, Linda, we're cutting the purple onion. Okay. Cut the purple onion up. No, that was a question. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the sweet okay. onion is going to go in the Hopping John salad. Right. right? And this one's going to So, come if the in. purple onion is going in the Hopping John salad, we probably don't want to use the whole purple onion. For the roasted vegetables, because half of that at least will go in the hopping John salad. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. But I think we probably want to do one whole sweet onion. Yes, one whole with the roasted one. vegetables. Yeah. You want Can to I that toss one? these yeah. in? Does cool. that make sense, Mike? Okay. Let's okay. do the whole sweet onion for the roasted vegetables. Oh, and I grew up, so yeah. Okay. 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 I'm getting a sweet onion with chopped the, up here. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I also, um, any kind of winter squash, I, had, I brought some butternut squash. Oh, nice. And yeah. turnip, just to show you that any root vegetable will be fun and delicious. And I have a lot more purple onion in here. And any kind of squash, I have some butternut squash, this acorn squash, this uh, spaghetti squash, all kinds of... We're loading it up. I yeah. like it. Yes. Anything so if you have anything else forward. around that you want to make yeah, use just, of, now's the time. To get it in the oven. Are you leaving skin on or are you taking the skin I off? I take, uh, take the skin off on the onions and the squash, if you're using squash, mm -hmm. the beets. Yeah. Um, the carrots, if they are under the ground and dirty and stuff, you might want to peel them. Yeah, sure. Peel cool. them up a little bit. But most of us are going to have the potatoes, the sweet onion, the beets, and the carrots at least. Right. If we got everything on the yeah. list. Okay, cool. Let me add my onions in here. Yum, yum, yum. Yes, it's going to smell if good. If you don't have parchment paper, that's fine. You can just put a little olive oil on your pan so that it doesn't stick as much. Yep. Nice. My fingers are turning all red. Oh, we got to do the parsnip. Fun. Very oh, the parsnip too. Okay. Very, very important parsnip. I got to peel the parsnip, right? Yeah, peel. Okay. Peel the parsnip, and then that goes in too. Nice. All right. And everybody should be preheating their ovens at 375. And, and that's the olive oil? That's the olive oil oh, right you. there. Welcome. So you just kind of like, you know, Dress it up with the olive oil. 
Just nice. kind of paint so it on there. You're kind of brushing it on. Yeah, paint it on there. And if we don't have a nice little brush, we could probably just drizzle it and then yeah, kind of like it. stir the vegetables around, right? Yes. Cool. Excellent. I kind of want to coat them to give them a little bit of crispy, crispy yes. way. Get them a little golden. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Just like that. No, no big wow. Easy peasy. The wonderful thing about, you know, a lot of cooking is it's, it's easy peasy, especially when you use fresh food because the food is the star. Mm -hmm. You just have to present it in a nice, appealing way. Roast it nice. So easy, too. You just yeah. throw some olive oil on there. Yeah, that's Okay, it. now, my parsnip, I just, I kind of went for it. What do you think about the size of this parsnip? Should it be smaller? Yeah, it could be smaller. Okay. You want to make sure they're going to cook. Okay. And, yeah. and then, it's not on the, the recipe, but I, I like to use rosemary. I just. Rosemary is my favorite. I just take a sprig. I wonder if there's anyone throwing any vegetables in there that we haven't mentioned here today. I wonder if yeah, anyone... that would be fun. Get Does anybody use any vegetables we haven't mentioned? Invented. Anyone throwing anything out of the box in there? Mm, this smells so good. No responses yet. Like zucchini could probably be pretty no, good. No, well, that, that's, a, that's a summer squash and it'll cook really fast. You're right. Mm -hmm. So if you want to put a summer squash in, just put it in about 10 end. minutes before you take it out. Yeah, yeah. that'd be good. But you don't want it overcooked, but you want it, you know, a little al dente yes. with, with summer squashes. You don't want mushy zucchini. Yeah. No. Not overly. So I just take a little bit of this uh, rosemary. It just smells so good. Nice. And I uh, rip it up and spread it around. You could grind it if you want to grind it, if you want to get really fancy. That, nice. Easy peasy. Oh, yeah. nice job on this. Yeah. Yeah. This would be a pretty good aerial shot here. Yeah, too, that was right? just thinking nice. the same thing. So look how pretty it cup. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's just so, so cute. We got the beautiful rosemary. Nice. It smells mm -hmm. good already. So at this point, Linda, you have your vegetables, you've brushed them with olive oil and put some rosemary on top. Right. Yeah. All right. It's okay. Then, yep. All right. And so, oh, sorry, dropped okay. one. You can get an overhead shot of that. So anybody can, yeah. I, oh, gotta get some more oh, olive oil. Meanwhile, I didn't finish my hand. A lot of veggies. Here. That's a full tray. Yeah, we are loading up the veggies. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, you guys are going to take home a nice amount. Of yeah, it money. is like like I do the Valley Flora CSA, and you get so much. It's wonderful. You get so much vegetables <laughs> that sometimes you have to figure out what to do with them. You're like, oh no, these yeah. are going to start to go if I don't do something with them quick. And like this is a great solution to that problem. Actually. Yep. Yeah. We got so much different stuff from them uh, one week for the fridge that I, I had to look two or three things up to figure out what they even were. You know, I had yeah. like some small kale. I, I couldn't remember if the, the white ones were turnips or something else. Yeah, I know. You learn a lot. It was awesome. I had to learn how to cook a lot of things too because of that. Oh, I bet. As I put them in the oven, I take the sprigs of parsley and just drop them on top. Oh, cool. And as the bakes it's going to smell the whole place up like but it was rosemary not parsley right good catch so I <laughs> yeah go for it okay All that's right. so we're, we're putting our roasted vegetables in the preheated oven at 375 for 40 minutes for 40 minutes 40 minutes so if you want to set a timer we'll have ours going too but 40 yeah, minutes if you guys are putting them in with uh linda you can go by our timer Okay, so those are in the oven. That's going to start to smell good. And, and so you have a timer on this? Sizzle and stuff. I will put one on my phone. Because you want to kind of maybe around 30 minutes, look at the vegetables, okay. give them a toss, maybe put a little more olive oil on and get them back in the oven. Cool. Yes, 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, all of a sudden, we would have realized that it's been 15 minutes, and then we would have panicked. <laughs> so we're gonna, this Hop and John salad is a couple little nice little tricks that make it very tasty. So first thing you want to do is very wash those black-eyed peas. 
thoroughly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get them in, in, the, in the strainer and really clean them up. Okay. Because many people do not like black eyed peas uh, because they taste like dirty and earthy. Mm -hmm. And that's really only because they don't wash them and clean them well enough yeah. to get all the earth off of them. They're just delicious. Nice. And I was at, um, now we should probably give a shout out to who you learned this recipe from. Oh, yes, yes. Right? My dearest Jardin Kazar. I, black market gourmet. Black yeah. market gourmet. And that's how I learned to love black eyed peas through his teaching me how to make the Hop and John salad. Nice. And there are many ways to make this Hop and John salad. So, you know, you it's another way you make it your own. Mm -hmm. What you don't like in there, don't put it in. And what you do like in there, put it in. There's no rules. This is just the, the, the recipe that Jordan gave me. Nice. So enjoy it. <laughs> Coincidentally, I was, I was at Black Market Gourmet for their Juneteenth celebration. And he made Hop and John salad for the Juneteenth celebration. And he was talking to everybody and he was asking, what's the main ingredient for Hopping John salad? And I felt very smart because I was able to <laughs> black eyed peas and no one else seemed to know. <laughs> I impressed Jordan a lot. That's like the only thing I know about Hopping John salad is that it's black eyed peas. Okay, so we're washing them really good, huh? Yeah, really good. You smell them really? Oh yeah. That's good. All right. Yeah. So I also want to give a shout out to uh, Stephanie Polizzi, who just logged on from uh, OSU, who's a wealth of uh, diet and nutritional info. Stephanie, uh, you want to give us any nutritional facts about black eyed peas? You're mute. Oh, there. Black eyed peas are a legume, much like black beans or white beans or any of the other beans. And um, they have usually you know, between six to nine grams of protein in them. They act as a good protein supplement and uh, basically no fat, no cholesterol. So they make a good uh, meat alternative. And um, I see that, you know, for making a salad, sometimes you do want to rinse the beans, but uh, I would recommend retaining the liquid uh, in a container and saving it for adding to soups because that contains a lot of the soluble fiber. Right. The good cool. fiber, right? Nice. So the, the, little Thanks, bit Steph. Of, the little bit of trick to making the salad is the black eyed peas is with any legume, they're very absorbent. And if you kind of just dry them off a little bit, you won't have that extra water in the salad that makes it very runny. Oh, okay. So my little tricks is I I, I dry them. Cool. So you got a towel them out, them. a clean towel. Yep. And I just lay. put them flame on a towel. Look, they're already dry. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just roll a towel on top. Oh, wow. Like that and roll them out. You see all the water <laughs> that come out? Oh, yeah, yeah. So now these, these peas will absorb the flavor of the ingredients that we put in. Otherwise, it's runny, it's water, watery, and, and, and you don't get that flavor because it's all water. So that is my little addition. Tip. Yeah. Nice. I, I have something I'm wondering, actually. I wonder if Stephanie would know. Um, so these are black-eyed peas, but they kind of look like beans. So why, I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm wondering, is there a difference between a pea and a bean, or are they kind of the same thing? Unmute, Steph. Yeah, Steph. <laughs> okay, let's get the part that they didn't mute. Um, um, I, I think they're all part of what we used to call pulses. Oh, you're, you're not they're all kind of part of the same family and the legume family. And that includes things like lentils and split peas, like the green and yellow peas. So I think they, they're just kind of a different name for calling a, a type of a pulse or a legume. Interesting. But okay. they have the same nutrition as the bean does. Cool. Okay. So you cool. Want, you want to Sorry to put you on the spot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're here. We want to put you on the spot. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, so right now we're cutting up our parsley. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just so we chop up your parsley nice and fine if you can. Just kind of. Go ahead, Mo. Did you have a question? Hey, Paul. Hi, everybody. This hey, is Mo. Mo. 
um, I'm long-term plant-based eater, blah, blah, blah. But, and this is my first time on, I usually uh, sing rehearsing in a choir in Florence, but um, I'm my uh, adult son, he's the vocal instructor at Marshfield, just came from Climate Union, really interested in healthy eating. And I recommended this for him tonight, but I wonder if for future programs, you might want to consider that transition for someone who is just new to healthy eating for a, a single human being thinking about, you know, cause I do a, all of our cooking here at home, but most of the recipes we have are giant, you know, for a family. And anyway, just for future, might want to think about um, for individuals that are new to this and maybe smaller, uh, just the idea. Yeah, that's no, we, we usually do try to keep it fairly simple and easy for that reason. So so anybody could cook along. But of course, you know, it'd probably be harder for me because I'm not the greatest cook. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit. So, I just, love just cut down the recipe, you know, just divide the recipe. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. I always get my recipes, but it's usually like this. And I only want to make it for two. And I just start dividing so that it comes out to the portions that I want. Yeah. Just math, it's just math. So you're not overwhelmed. Yeah. And then we also tend to make a lot a more here spoon. because we'll big feed spoon. the co-op employees who are still here at seven o'clock at night. So <laughs> we tend to make a little extra here. Okay. Nope. That's right. good feedback, Mo. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, appreciate that. Thank so right you. now we have our beans and our parsley. Huh? Yeah, and so when you stir something, don't do this. Okay, you wanna get Get it from the bottom up. Toss it. Fold it. I'm not Fold it over. Okay. There's some things you want to stir very hard. But when you're do doing things like this, you just kind of want to get everybody happy and meld it together. Make them all friends. Make yeah. The easy, the easy, friends easy, nice and gentle. And then we have these guys. Now, this here is a cucumber. There's many different kinds of cucumbers that you can use, whatever you enjoy. So Linda, in the in the in the bowl right now, it's just the beans and parsley, right? Oh, and now I'm going to put in cucumber. Now we're working with our cucumber. So a lot of people I find, I've been cooking for like seventy years or sixty years, and a lot of people don't like cucumbers because it gives them a lot of gas. All you have to do is take the seeds out. That's what causes the oh. gas. Interesting. And I have people now love cucumbers awesome. because they don't get gas anymore. I, I said, just take the, cube, the seeds out. Interesting. Linda, I think we have a question. Go ahead, Micah. Micah? Um, uh, for, uh, if we don't have parsley, could we use kale as a substitute? Yes, use anything that you have that you like. All right. Good Thank question. You. Go for it. Yeah. Thank you. So in this in this um, cucumber, you want to cut it down the length of the cucumber like that. Now you can either use a knife or what I use is a serrated spoon. And this is for grapefruit. It's a grapefruit spoon. Oh, we'll yeah. Scrape out the middle. Nice. See all that? All the seeds in the middle, huh? Just get them out with a knife or a spoon. Yeah, regular spoon really would be cool. more difficult, but it would probably still work, right? Yeah. yeah. However you can. Cool. And I'll show you a little trick with this, too. So, you know, everybody can do these things, but if you learn little techniques, it makes it a lot better. So no, these no, no. techniques I'm showing you, that's why I'm here. Yeah. To show you the little secrets that make it even better. Okay. Definitely. Have okay. this here. That'll go into the compost. Mm -hmm. Let's get that over here. Yeah, the compost for you. And Mo, I wanted to add one thing. We also have a no cook left behind philosophy. So we, we wouldn't leave your son until he finished his meal. Yeah. We're here <laughs> for you. Yeah. Okay. Now the cucumber is the same deal. It's full of water. And if you get it in there, it's going to get it very watery and it won't last a day or two. So I dry them. Interesting. I get them in there and I just wipe them down. See that? Wipe out all the water out you can. Squeeze the sucker. <laughs> Squeeze it. 
This is the first time I've seen somebody dry a cucumber, I must admit. Yeah, me too. And you'd be surprised what a difference it makes. I'm intrigued. And results of a watery salad. Yeah. yeah. As opposed to a nice, bowl, you know, it has a lot of body, this salad. I would think scraping out the seeds helps get rid of some of that moisture, too. Oh, yeah. There's a yeah. lot of water in the seeds, and you won't get gassy, except maybe the well, you got the bridges of the <laughs> <laughs> And then you chop this up. At least it'll just be the black eyed peas. You're right, right. Yeah. Okay, so I'll chop. I know there's a lot of vegetables in that oh, pan. Yeah, just a crook. Yeah, okay. good, good. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I'm chopping the cucumbers. And I'm chopping the celery. Awesome. Some celery. So the, the great thing about this Hop and John salad, it is extremely wonderful summer meal because it's so refreshing it cleans your palate it gets you ready to eat everything else on the table it's very refreshing because of the rice vinegar i use that a lot with a lot of things because it, it just opens your palate up it's just amazing what that rice vinegar does i love the rice vinegar. yeah it's yeah very good. now i was thinking sometimes you get invited to things and you want to bring some kind of stuff this is, this is it. This is this always is a hit. Yeah. If you want to find a, a potluck dish to bring along, this is always a hit. People if you make this ahead of time, uh, Linda, how long do you think it keeps well in the fridge? Three or four days. Oh, nice. Yeah. You can make it, take it to a party yeah. the next day. Oh, you don't have all that water. Right. If you keep it dry, it'll stay well. Right. But if you get all this water in there, you got nothing to help it stay with its body. Cool. Oh, back, back to cucumber seeds. Uh, Steph said the seeds and cucumbers are a good source of fiber. And she said, once your body gets accustomed to high fiber diets, these so seeds will not contribute to gas or indigestion. I must, I must attest to that because I have a pretty high fiber diet these days, but when I was younger, I didn't, and I couldn't handle high fiber as much. But uh -huh. now it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, okay. Cool. Or not in the way... But remember, the seeds in the salad will make it watery. Yeah, that so too, yeah. You, yeah. you can give up the seeds. You get a lot of fiber in here. When you cut your celery, cut it up really fine. Try to get it as yeah, small you're really as you can. Chopping that celery up. Yeah, you want to get it nice and fine. And the same with the onion, really small. Great. Nice. So far, we still have our beans and our parsley in the bowl. We're prepping our celery. And I've got my cucumbers, cucumbers. chopped up. That kind of looks like celery now that the oh. beans are all gone. Or the seeds you can, are all you gone. can cut those more if you want. Chop them up chop more. more. Okay. okay. And Stephanie added, don't add any salt if you're going to save it in the fridge for a few days because salt will leach water from the vegetables. Yeah. Ah, good tip. Thank you, Steph. Susan added that seeds are higher in salt. Salicylic acid, and that bothers her. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good to know. She things. added, I'll just use more celery. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the or you can chop up some fine carrot in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Color, you know, yeah, you, yeah. you become very creative. Make it your own. That's if it. you want colorful carrots, get them at the co op. I love my multicolored carrot bunches I get there weekly. Oh, that would be so fun. All of the rainbow carrots. I love the rainbow. Carrots. I love rainbow anything. You know, nice. Can I have an overshot of the yeah. celery? So mm -hmm. nice and you can't get it small enough. Okay. So well, every fine. Like easily picked up in a spoonful, probably. Yes, right? and, and then it's a surprise in your mouth because mm -hmm. you're not chewing into a big piece and knowing, oh, celery. Yeah, that's but this mixes beautifully and then. You know, it's like, ooh, what's Just that? Just kind of all you comes know? together. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> Susan said her dog snuck the two carrots out of the bag the other night and ate them. <laughs> <laughs> My dog likes carrots, too. When we're chopping carrots up, she'll, like, you know, stand and stare at us, kind of begging, until we throw one on the ground, and then she just eats the carrot. I've that never met a dog, but now I know. I'm glad to know there's another one who likes <laughs> carrots. How, how's everybody doing in here? Yes, how is everybody doing? Yeah, feel free to let us know if you missed Mina? anything. Anybody, anybody have any questions? Love this idea. I just wish there were more. Uh, we need to figure out a way to have more people check in. It's just wonderful. Oh, well, great. 
we, we generally, you know, we probably have like over 20 people here right now. And we generally have like, wonderful. you know, 20 to 30 people that come. Yeah. Yes. Great. We're here every month. And, um, and Red every month, the Thursday before the event, one week before, we release at least 10 vouchers for okay, going Let's get that in here. Yes. Okay. So the celery is in, the cucumbers going in. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to chop up that. Half of this. Because, half of the red onion. Yeah, because this is too big for that. Okay, so this is the half onion. Yeah. Cool. This will be the half red onion. All right. So now we're putting half and of the red onion. onion. We're also going to chop this very small, I bet. Right? Yes, very yeah. small. Oh, yeah. Because they are not the star. They're the additives, and so the, the peas are the star. Right. So you just want to have these complementing the rest of the salad. Nice. There's a good piece of onion. And you also, you know, speaking of like getting a big chunk of like celery, getting a big chunk of onion can yeah. be no fun too. Yeah. <laughs> it can be overwhelming. It can be. <laughs> Steph added that salicylic acid um, is an anti-inflammatory and reduces risk of colorectal cancer. Mm. Nice. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah. Oh, good. I won't have to take that nasty test. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat a lot of that. <laughs> okay, cool. So you're really chopping the... Yeah, I'm going to Every part of this, you're getting it as thin as yep. small as you can. Yeah, as far as I can. Right now, we're about like halfway through our 30-minute timer. A little more than... Right. Good. 10 more minutes left on it, maybe. Susan added that statistics show that uh, the acid bothers more people than realize it. Okay. Loving all these facts and information. Yeah, I know. Fun. I think if people knew what the vegetables offer them in nutrition, they're more apt to, you know, want to make them because they want to get that vitamin and nutrition in their body. Yeah. Naturally, I don't like to take pills. Yeah. The pill person. It's more enjoyable to eat it anyways. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just really chop these puppies cool. right yeah. up nice and small. Real okay. small. This isn't small enough. You're still going. Yeah. <laughs> So if you're wondering, is my onion chopped small enough? The answer might be no. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. If you when have to ask, doubt, keep going, right? Pop it out, yeah. <laughs> I have that pampered chef chopper. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Very carefully, if you've had a day today, you just be a careful way to take it out on the end. I'll put the paper towel. Uh, yeah, yeah, just a towel here. Cool. Uh, can you tell? Oh, sure. Because only because I have a, a nose that's so they're um getting uh, oh, together. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I can add that, um, you know, if you don't want to take medication for diabetes, for example, that uh, soluble fiber is the thing that you should be focused on, and beans and lentils are a good source of soluble fiber. It helps to lower blood sugars, it also lowers cholesterol. So adding a bean dish like this into your um, weekly meal plan is gonna help lower blood sugars and cholesterol. Awesome, thank you, Steph. And it's also very low glycemic index. It takes a long time for the body to absorb the nutrition from this because there's no sugar. Oh. Good slow glycemic index. Any legume or bean. What do you think, Tim? This is it, huh? I think it looks pretty good, but I mean, I'm impressed that you're still going. Yeah, yeah. I know what I know. What's going to go in the mouth? It's true. I'm going when I'm eating this. I'm going to appreciate all the work yes. putting into this onion. Definitely. It's working so hard, she's tearing up. <laughs> I think Micah teared up a little too. Yeah. <laughs> so now, see all this onion. Yeah. So you look at the, you look at the mountain there, and I think this is judge, too huh? much. Got it. So I'm gonna put half of this in. 
And this is a really good probably tip too, because some people like onion more than others. Yeah. Some people like red onion more than others. And so if you and so I good, think that might be. Would that have been maybe like a half cup, Linda, or a whole cup? Or? Um, I would say about a half three, cup. Yeah, about maybe three quarters of a cup. Okay. A little bit more than half. It feels like we did about half of that half of the onion. Yeah. A quarter of the onion. Because that was a pretty big one, right? That was a big that one. Was, yeah. yeah. I don't know what's but you from. all be the judge. Maybe you want some more onion in yours. Yeah, you know? that's the nice thing. And then, of course, you just kind of fold it in. I've seen yeah. multiple colors here. It's just so pretty. Nice. It's just so pretty. And I think that's everything I wanted in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you have some garlic powder, you might like to put that in or a little pepper. And I do have some garlic powder. Okay. Some yeah. In? And um, like, uh, she said, to hold off on the salt until you serve. When you serve it, then somebody, I, I never put salt in my food. When I cook, a good cook does not use salt. You leave that to the person who's eating it. If they like salt, they'll add it. Sure. You know, it drives me crazy when people add salt and they don't taste the food first. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, taste the food first. Add your salt. Oh, Susan, uh, Kate, hold on. Susan came in late and asked about the vegetables. Yeah, uh, Susan, we have our ovens at 375, and we put the um, root vegetables are roasting in there um, for 30 to 40 minutes. We're going to check them in a half a, after a half hour. But um, yeah, we had all the root vegetables and carrots. She brushed them with some olive oil, right, Linda? Olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then she put some rosemary sprigs on top, and then and then just put like whole sprigs on top of all that and threw it in the oven. I'll just put this here because you don't want to waste it. Got it. Cool. You know, that might be in a container and mm -hmm. somebody might cook with it. Yeah, we'll keep the rest of the onions for a meal tomorrow or something yeah. like that. And yes, I'll try to get the um, video posted on our YouTube channel tomorrow, Susan. Awesome. Oh, uh, they're, they're all washed, chopped. We peeled the beets. Um, we peeled the parsnip, I think. Uh, yeah, Linda was saying you can pretty much throw any root type vegetable in there. So she had like a smorgasbord of different things she chopped up. Oh, and you know, the, the harder root vegetables, she chopped up a little smaller so they would cook quicker. Oh, you like olive powder? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. And if you feel like it, put some garlic powder in. What's that, garlic powder? Yeah. Putting some garlic powder in. All right. I love garlic, oh. so. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for it. Not All too right. much, you know, it's a fugitive spice, so you want to be careful. <laughs> what, what, maybe that was like a teaspoon, that's probably more than a teaspoon, I would say. Yeah, just put some in the palm of your hand and shake it around. Yeah. You don't have to measure all Know the thyself and put however much garlic yeah. you can uh, handle. Now, the, here's the, the crowning glory of this salad is rice vinegar. Right. Okay. So what do we have in the recipe? A half a cup? How much rice vinegar? Let's see here. Rice vinegar, we said half a cup of rice okay. vinegar. Start with a quarter. So we started yes. with a quarter cup of Baby. rice vinegar. And you know, this is something you should do with all your cooking is taste as you go. You don't want to put too much. You gotta taste it to see if you like it. And always I add more later. Nice, it's getting fragrant. Yes, then you kind of get some oil in there a little bit. Okay, olive oil too. Olive oil. What would you say, about a tablespoon? Uh, yeah, two tablespoons. Okay. Okay. So we put our What's that around? quarter cup of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil. We're mixing things up. We're gonna see how we like it and we're gonna add more. Yes. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do right now is just taste it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> How's it taste, Micah? Taste. Yeah, this hasn't been used. Okay. Make sure I get some peas here. Yeah, love it. And if you want more rice vinegar, you mm -hmm. can put more. Do you want more? Let's put a little bit more. Okay, see? <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep a little more pizzazz. Okay. Notice I was careful. I didn't overdo it. I noticed now, that. Oops, just kind of took the tip of that. So Here, I'll wanna... wash. I'll Here, wash. I'll do another one. Okay. We'll wash it later. Go ahead, Micah. 
Overhead shot, please. Of this. There we go. Okay. And then Mike had a question. Um, we, uh, we put the beets in the roasted vegetables, right? Yep. You got it. And we have a Hop and John salad. Taste it now, sir. Okay, let's see. See if you like it better. Wow. And that's what you do. You kind of start small, taste, and then add if you feel like it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Better? Like it. Better. Mm -hmm. It goes like this in your mouth. <laughs> Explosion. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very And then a when you're tasting, hit. you can also be deciding if when you make your salt the bowl, if you want to add some salt or exactly. things like that. Exactly, yeah. Okay. You add your salt and pepper to the person who wants to dress it with salt and pepper. Sure. Yeah. So it's, it's done. Okay. No, cool. not at all. That was Just pretty simple. <laughs> Got like a couple minutes on our timer. Should we check the roasted vegetables yeah, now and check. see what's going on there? Yeah, okay. let's check. Yeah, let's check those. And, and, and the nice thing is I'm hoping that I can get this done for you in the hour. That's what's cool is you want to. Do you want to spend your life out the kitchen? Do you want to spend your life eating it? <laughs> sure. I can yeah. tell you probably need more time on yeah. this. You can tell me you what you need. Up, but, uh, yeah. if you want to. Oh, yeah, sure. That's a good idea. Well, while we have it out, put it on the table. Yeah, let's let people see. And stir it and put a little more seasoning on. Take that away. Uh -huh. We're overhead. So. Cool. We're overhead. Ooh, that's right. so There's good. our beautiful roasted vegetables. With nice. Great. And we're going to give them a toss. And I'm looking at like the parsnips and the carrots, especially. I can just tell they probably need they a need, little more softening, yeah. a little more time. You just kind of see that they all have their oil. And mm -hmm. it down a little. Ooh, smells good. Very pretty. Okay, let's put cool. them back in. Keep cooking those puppies. We're going to turn up, up the oven a little bit. Yeah. I put 400. Do you think good. that's a good? 425. Okay. 425. Oh, okay. So we're going to turn up our oven a little bit. You guys are feel free to do that too. Would you put it at 425? Yeah. Okay. And just watch them, though, you know, because they're going to cook. Sure, cook sure. Okay. So when did you learn this recipe? How long ago did you take this class with Jordan? Well, let's see. I, I think it was at least five years ago. When he was doing those free cooking classes? Yes, yes. I took those classes for about five years. And Jordan's been busy. He was a, a cardiac nurse for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Between the restaurant, the class classes in the hospital um he had to kind of stop something somewhere mm -hmm. but i have a book this this thick with all his recipes from those classes wow yeah, yeah these are what wonderful things yeah i remember I when he was I remember, like oh, classes again yay <laughs> i remember when he was doing those regularly talking to a woman in the library who said those classes saved her life literally because they changed the way she ate and, oh, yeah. and what she ate you know and how she ate it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think uh, we should eventually get together a cookbook full of community cooking with the co-op yes. library yeah, too. recipes. We have a, I'd have to take advantage well, of our cameraman, Alan, who's done things like that in the past. Take pictures of all the dishes. There, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Linda, Susan asked about how many pounds of assorted root veggies did you use? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, for, for this, for this, because I know there's a staff here. I probably used about three to five pounds, maybe three and a half to four. But, but she's cooking for the crew. Yeah, I'm cooking for the crew. <laughs> but if you're cooking for yourself, it'd be one pound. I measure what I eat through the year, and I eat about a thousand pounds of produce a year. Interesting. I maybe eat two turkeys, uh, maybe one chicken probably 25 pounds of fish and 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 i don't know how much legume and bean i eat but i eat a lot of those too that's wow. where I get. so yeah that that's a wonderful way to you know see how, how your diet is going by what do you eat a month how, how many pounds of beef or pork or dairy or, you know measure it out and i eat about a thousand pounds of produce a year Wow. Yep. I have a question for you. So you, you're a yoga teacher, right? Can you talk about where people can find, or can people, anyone take a class of yoga oh, yeah. with you? Oh, yeah. Do you want to talk about where people can find that? Sure. There's wonderful studios all over town, wonderful mm -hmm. teachers. But I happen to teach at the college um, from 1 o'clock to 2.30 on Monday and Wednesday from September 
through June. And it's a beginner's class, an intermediate class, and they're pretty much similar and it's easy peasy. Just like uh, the lady that's telling us about the nutrition, which is very important to know so you are encouraged to eat good. Yoga is the same thing. I tell you exactly what each posture does for you. So you're more um, encouraged to practice. Nice. So yeah, I'm at the college and I, I've been doing yoga for 54 years. Nice. I am right. 72 years young. I've never <laughs> had a broken, broken bone. And never had any surgery, no back problems, no nothing, no joints. Everything is good to go. Plus, I do Tai Chi. And um, Linda, I had a question. These are like community classes that anybody can take, right? Well, yeah, you pay for them because they're through sure. the college education, adult education. Community. But you don't have to be enrolled like in, in any yeah. program. Anybody no, up the street can come no, in. No, you just sign up for the class. And it's a the term is 11 weeks. And um, by the end of 11 weeks, you're moving so nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I get homework. <laughs> nice. All right. We, um, so Susan said, I'm cooking for one. She said the recipe list said half pound of dry beans cooked and rinsed or canned. How many cans would that be? Uh, it, well, if you're cooking for one, one can should do you fine. Okay. Thank and you. Just measure your additives you know accordingly you don't want mm -hmm. a pound of onion in a little bit of beans you just want to kind of use your judgment common sense yeah. cooking is all common sense totally really yeah follow your taste buds yeah. Yeah. follow and the way it looks how do you want it to look that probably and always too. ask yourself did this come from the planet or did it come from a factory if it came from the planet you know you're safe if it came from a factory, you're kind of like, oh, who knows? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe and... now and then. <laughs> yeah. So how did your own? <laughs> how did yoga like impact? Did that impact what you eat and the things you cook, cook and things like that? I mean, you've been um, doing yoga for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you well, think that I'm from Manhattan, diet? and um, I always had asthma from being in New York. Somebody said you should study yoga. It's good for your lungs. And I've been at it since I'm 19. And uh, it just, you know, I'm just that I'm very sensitive to, to food and allergens. And I just gravitate toward produce. I love plants. <laughs> I'm plant powered. <laughs> so. Nice. And uh, sp speaking of plants, I think most of you know this, but if you don't, um, a while back, I started a community fridge at the Coos Bay Public Library. And anytime we're open, you can come in and get free produce. Sometimes we might not have much. Like right now, I just have apples and oranges. But but it is something available to anybody in the community six days a week till 6 p.m. every evening except Sunday. Go ahead, Michael. Do you have a question? Um, about the <clears throat> um, about the community fridge, are, could we like bring in produce from our farms? If, if we talk first, uh, just, just contact me about that, Mike. I would love uh, donations like that, but I just, I just need to do a little vetting and see how it's grown and stuff like that. We just need to have a quick conversation. All right, no problem. Yeah, because yeah, I, have, I have a vegetable garden out back. Nice. Uh, maybe, maybe give me a call or shoot me an email tomorrow and we'll talk about it. All right, thanks. Thanks so much for thinking of us in the community. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, yeah, one very, thing to add about the Hop and John salad, everybody, it's best very cold. So put it in the fridge, and the next day it's it's super good. Nice. Cold is good in that salad. Yeah. So I like mean, right now, they might want to just put it in the fridge until their vegetables are done. Yeah, they good could idea. do that. Yeah. And you'll notice that the beans just absorb all the flavor of everything else that's in there. And nice. there's still a star. You know, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's not at all liquidy and wet. Oops, um, did I do something? No, no, you're fine. See, it's nice and right. Yeah, so I could imagine can... that if that was runny, yeah, if it's runny wet, and watery, it might not be quite as appetizing. Yeah, and so this is great when you bring it to a potluck. People are like, yeah, oh, it smells so good. They don't even have to know what it is, all they have to do is smell it. Yeah, know. and look at it too. I look at it, it's, it's going very it's tasty. Pretty. Yeah. Well, while we're on the topic of food, can I share something real quick? Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, 
So uh, my coworker, Gene, has started a monthly program called uh, Spice Club. And um, this, is a, this is a flyer for July. So what it is, is every first Monday of the month, he puts out uh, a free bag that has a spice in it. This one will be a Chinese five spice and recipes for like maybe a handful or less of uh, simple recipes. And some of them are sourced from a database um, you guys can access with your library called 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 A to Z World Food. But I just wanted to share what um, July was going to be. We've already ran out of the June one. It went really quick. But all you have to do is come into the library on the first Monday of the month, and we just have them at the main desk, uh, just in a little bag. You just grab it. All right, I'm there. Yeah, those I recipes think. look really First Monday is coming up pretty soon, too. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's going to be great. And final input of information, and then we'll, maybe we'll check our vegetables, related to fruits and vegetables, is that if you don't know, at the co-op, we have double-up food bucks. Yes. Like they do at the farmer's market. So if you use EBT or SNAP benefits, um, when you shop at the co-op and use your EBT card to buy fresh fruits and vegetables, double-up food bucks will match you dollar for dollar, up to $20 per transaction. So... Um, you can bring those vouchers back in, those double up food bucks vouchers and get free fresh fruits and vegetables from the co-op too. So if you utilize SNAP benefits, uh, double up food bucks is a great resource that we have here too. So, And you get twice, twice your bucks at the co-op, which is pretty cool because it's pretty much all local. And if it's not local, it's good organic produce. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyways. Well, so yeah, it's an awesome program. Very cool. Okay. This time for shameless plugs because we could talk about the Healthy Bites initiative. Um, yes. The July food is uh, cantaloupe. So that'll be coming out uh, any day now, right, Tim? Like, I'm almost <laughs> there. Um, so you can find recipes how to use cantaloupe, like in salads and things you wouldn't suspect. My favorite are popsicles. So, um, yeah, but I didn't put that in the but still, there are lots of recipes to use. Um, all of these foods, we have Healthy Bites from 2017. Mm -hmm. Each month, there's a new food. So we have a lot of these foods already there. Awesome. And I think if you go to your website, Stephanie, you can find all those resources and the co-op website, too. Yeah, well, my website has my website and Advanced Health both have the archived versions, whereas you guys just have, I think, the posters and the handout. We have all of the materials from 2017. Yeah, I don't think yeah. all I don't think all of the fruits and vegetables are on the co-op site either. I think there might be more on the advanced health and OSU sites. Yeah, I can put my link in there and you can go there and get and you can search by um, alphabetical order to find the food. Yes, you're interested please in. do, Steph. And we often put these um, healthy bites printouts near the fridge, you know, related to produce we have in the fridge. And they're, they're really cool because they go through all the nutritional values and then have a couple recipes. Very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of really good resources right now in Coos Bay for food and nutrition. And things. Yes. So if you look at this Hop and John cell, you can see the water already building up from just the celery and, Cucumbers, you know, maybe. yeah. And so just take, take it out, you know, mm -hmm. just let it bleed a little bit, let the vegetables bleed, and then the water, just take it out and it'll stay dry. Okay, so yes, you might even, yeah, remove some of that. Liquid. Yeah. Great. So when you put this away, you can read a bit. And yeah, mm -hmm. sounds good. You think we should check our vegetables yeah, again? Yeah, Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Turn it up and see if they're uh... ready to rock and roll. It looks like Steph just put in a link to the Healthy Bites Initiative. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna be there on Monday. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. How are they looking? Oh, good. They could go more, but they're ready for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like them. Like so this. it just depends, yeah, how finished you want them. Yeah, but there you go. He's like, we, so a lot of these, we could poke a fork through it, and that probably is a good sign. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I could tell some of these potatoes and things might want to go longer too, right? Right. Okay, so we're going to pop ours back in. Let's plate it first. Okay. And then show them the plating, and then we can throw that makes sense. vegetables. Yeah, let's do that. Back. Okay. Sounds good. So these uh, sprigs of um, rosemary, just chuck them away. They make the whole place smell so good. Whenever you want to smell your kitchen up nice, just bake a couple of sprigs. Bake some them. rosemary. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And let me grab. And you plate that yeah, up and like show a... them the finished deal. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we can throw those back in. Cool. 
very colorful. Yes, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Here. Smells really good. Yeah, Stephanie added that um, foodhero.org also has recipes and videos of foods and it's available in Spanish. Thanks for adding that, Stephanie. That's very cool. Um, often when I can't find a, a specific produce on uh, Healthy Bites, I go to Food Hero and print out one of their uh, things on whatever vegetable I'm looking for. Now, probably the vegetables too, if people wanted to add their salt and oh, yeah, whatever, they right. could do that. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 You can add any kind of maybe a salad dressing over it, like a Caesar, whatever you like. But this, this is your, your basic palette here. Mm -hmm. And then you add what you like to everything you cook. Yeah. I mean, if you Ooh, were, that's if, beautiful. If you were a meat eater or even had some tempeh or something, mm -hmm. I could imagine that going really well on the oh, side yeah. with this too. I put a, a um, spring uh, yeah. salad with it, it's greens, mm -hmm. the greens on the plate. But All that, right. That's your uh, that's your meal. Beautiful. I okay. eat this a lot. <laughs> yeah. No problem, Suzanne. Thanks. Thanks yeah. for joining us. It's an easy. Should we get an aerial shot here, Alan? Yeah. You're there. Oh, we're here. For, okay. For the yeah. There we go. Let's see. Nice. Hoppin' John salads, roasted vegetables, beets, potatoes, onions, all sorts of good. Root that vegetables. looks pretty healthy. It's that looks pretty healthy. healthy. I gotta say, yeah. yeah. I'm going to feel good after eating. I was going to say, that's something you can feel good about eating. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you can want a piece of, you know, bread with it, you know, have a, something like that. No problem, so Karen. Oh. oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. There we go, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can serve a nice piece of roasted bread with it with garlic and butter on it. Oh, sure. Just add anything you want, a meat or chicken. Or, but that's what I would do right there. That's my meal. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I, I would think when you start eating that, that's going to be pretty hearty right there. Yeah, it's going to fill you up, and it's oh, going to definitely give you a long time. That's what's nice. It's low glycemic. Nice. Very nice. nice. Cool. And next month, I'll be teaching my own recipes of a topsy turvy egg egg dish. I call it topsy turvy eggs and beet salad. I make a very good beet salad, so I'm going to share that. Awesome. Nice. I'm a beetaholic. <laughs> a vegetable. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst things to be. How's um how's everybody doing? Um, does anybody need help finishing up? Does anybody have any questions? Um, where's everybody at that's cooking along? Yeah, if you need any help, let us know. Yes. As I said, no cook left behind. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. You want to put those back in? Um, no, I'll leave those there. Okay. Well, if we're done, I'm going to bug out. We'll see you next month. Thanks so much. I right. appreciate Thanks you and all your knowledge. Right. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Micah, how's your, how's your dish doing? Um, <clears throat> I, my salad's in the fridge, and I just pulled my veggies out, so I should be ready in like uh, maybe like two minutes or something. Cool. Oh. Good job. Good job putting the salad in the fridge. Yes. Nice work. <laughs> no problem, Laura. We're getting lots of thanks and praises. Thank you Thank all for being for here. I yeah, appreciate you, you guys all joining me. us. Thank you for having me. I'm so pleased and honored. I'm honored. Yeah, to you're on this side. We're honored yeah. to have you. Manja <laughs> Schiat. It's Italian. Learn Italian. I use turtles. I need and bust. Manja <laughs> Schiat. <laughs> The, the secret word. <laughs> the secret word. Cheryl said her veggies need to roast a little longer. Yeah. yeah. Cheryl, are, are you good besides that, though? You got everything else done? Yes, great. Well, I hope everybody enjoys the meal that um, Jordan taught me. Yes. With you. Yeah. And, yeah, and Tim, if there's any left over, I will be stopping by the co-op tomorrow. <laughs> you got it. There'll be a probably. I will there. definitely put some aside for you. <laughs> Quite a bit. Pat Patricia said, thank you. This looks wonderful. Thanks, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Cool. Well, oh. Susan said, I'll probably cook it Saturday and send you the pictures then. Perfect. Thanks, Susan. Appreciate that. Bye.
Cheryl said, looks amazing. We'll send pics. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell everybody to send me pictures. Well, <laughs> those of you that are left, make sure to send me pictures. <laughs> I think most of the people that got the vouchers know. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Awesome. Um, is everybody good? My, Micah might just be finishing up. Let's see how he's doing. Patricia, you finished yours, right? Maybe. Yes, done. Excellent. Thank you. Nice. Success. We'll help you clean up this. Maybe. Oh, no. Maybe we'll just check in with Micah but one more time before yeah. we log out. Man. I know how to clean it all up very quickly. So it's really fine. <laughs> I was raised. You're an old hat, right? I like to clean. Yeah. <laughs> so, which I don't like to clean, but I like to eat. Yeah, yeah. No, I've got that. That's so that. pretty. That I'm is, so happy. It is. It's so nice. Oh, Patricia's waiting to see how Micah's came out. Cool. So am I. <laughs> hey, uh, Alan. Yes. Here, take a picture. I'll hold the plate up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> take a picture of oh, us. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's gonna hat. The camera's. Oh, oh, is it doing something weird? Yeah, well, it flipped to facing towards me. Oh, I want a picture of you, Alan. I mean, I'll, I'll take a picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Wait a second, Everybody's what? phone is so like, different. I had a friend who, when someone was, hey, can you take a picture of us? He would take the camera and pretend like he was taking a picture of them, but he would just take a selfie. There you go. <laughs> And you wouldn't find out till much later, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. Which really actually could be cruel because you get that one shot in front of the Eiffel Tower. Or whatever. <laughs> so, nope, it's your buddy Bill. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I can tell Mike is really hustling. <laughs> He's smart. He put it right in the fridge. Right. I love the kid. Yeah, I see best. him every time he's on here. It makes me so happy that he's doing this. All right. So I just finished. I'm, nice. feeding, I'm feeding a family of five. So awesome. Are you going to sure. show us your, your your meal? Yeah. So this is the roasted vegetables. Nice. Good job. Nice. Oh, that's right. You use kale. Nice. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Micah, did you taste it? Uh, yeah. And it's really good. The veggies Excellent. Especially. What especially? Yeah, uh, I I gotta go because they're they're kind of hungry. But I'll see you. <laughs> Excellent. Good job, Micah. Oh, no, no, no. Feed the family. <laughs> You're <Hey>. awesome. <laughs> so fun. Very nice. That's why he was running around here. Yeah. Trying hungry, to feed his family. Hungry huh? family. Yeah. I can see he's going to be the chef in that family. He's Clearly. only 13 years old. I, I just, I'm thrilled. I wish. Well, he was 12 when he started cooking with us all yeah. by himself. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Thank Never you so much, Linda, Tim, Alan. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you all. To having you. Very, very much honored to be here. Honored to have you, of course. All right, y'all. Okay. Well, have a good night. I'll put some of this aside for you. <laughs> thank you, Tim. I'll have your name on it. So I'll come see you tomorrow. All right, good. All right, thanks, y'all. Yeah. Cheryl, are you good? Oh, yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah, Great. Cool. Thanks, Excellent. Cheryl. All right, Susan, you guys have a good night. You too. You too. Take care, everybody.